Zorse Audi BCM2 Adapter Gen 1 versus Gen 2. What's the real upgrade? All right, technicians and tinkerers, fasten your diagnostic seatbelts because today we're digging deep into one of the hottest upgrades in the world of automotive key programming. The Zorse Audi BCM2 Salda Free Adapter Gen 1 versus Gen 2. If you've ever been frustrated by limited compatibility, partial data reads, or just the hassle of soldering on a delicate BCM boards, then this video will clear up everything you need to know about these two adapters, and more importantly, which one you should trust for your next job. And here's a twist right at the beginning to keep your mind racing. Do you know which adapter, Gen 1 or Gen 2, can clone Audi BCM2 modules with matching hardware versions? If you do, don't keep it to yourself. Drop the answer in the comments right now, and let's see how many of you already know your stuff. Stick around to the end, because I'll reveal the correct answer, share my personal take, and drop a bonus pro tip for your next programming session. But hey, before we fire up the Key Tool Plus and start comparing features, a quick but important message. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. Everything shared here, from product overviews to diagnostic walkthroughs, is based on tools used in real workshops by real technicians. No copyrighted material is being used for profit. All product names, trademarks, and logos are the property of their respective owners. Always work safely, follow manufacturer procedures, and abide by local laws. Now, let's crack open this comparison and really understand what separates the Zorse Audi BCM2 Adapter Gen 1 from the brand new Gen 2 and why that matters so much if you're working on modern Audis. We'll start with the basics and then move deeper into use cases, compatibility, and advanced functionality, especially for those of you chasing encrypted modules or trying to clone a BCM2 without the original key. So, here's the deal. The Gen 1 adapter, officially known by part numbers in Pabgol, was made for models like the 2013-2019 Audi A4L, A5, Q5, A6L, a7, and A8. It works with BCM2 versions like 0510, 0521, 0551, 0572, 0582, 0633, 0461, 0650, 0711, 0824, 0825, and 0827. This adapter supports reading IMMO data without the original key ID, and yes, it works with the 754J Audi key. You can use it with VVDI Prog, VVDI2, VVDI Key Tool Plus, and the Multiprog. But here's the limitation. It does not support full data read like flash and flash. More importantly, it can't clone a BCM2 module, even if it's the same hardware version. Now under the big brother, Gen 2, part number XDMP A, 2GL, also known as the Zorse Gen 2 Audi BCM2 adapter. This one not only covers all the same vehicles and BCM2 versions, but goes a step further. It also supports Lamborghini, Volkswagen Touareg, and other advanced models. So what makes Gen 2 worth the upgrade? First off, it supports all BCM2 versions, regardless of whether they fall under 03XX, 04XX, 05XX, 06XX, 07XX or 08XX. This is a game changer because you're no longer limited to a certain set of versions. Second, it can read both flash and flash, giving you full access to the module's data. If you've ever been in a situation where partial data blocks your progress, this alone makes Gen 2 worth the investment. Third, Gen 2 can clone a BCM2 module, as long as both source and target modules share the same hardware version. That's a massive time saver, especially in dealership or fast-paced garage environments. Now let's talk hardware. Gen 1's package includes 1X XDN62 BCM2 adapter, 1X XDN63 BCM1 adapter, 1X XDN64 BCM2 adapter, 1X XDN65 BCM, a 1 cable. 1X XDN66 BCM, A2 cable. 1X XDN67 BCM, 2 prog cable. That's a lot of adapters. And if you're a tool junkie, it might even be fun, but for beginners or mobile techs, it can feel bulky. 
Gen 2's package is more refined. One XBCM2, a salda free adapter. One XBCM2, B salda free adapter. One X adapter cable for VVDI Key Tool Plus. One X adapter cable for Multiprog. That's it. Simpler, cleaner, and more efficient. Less room for connection errors, fewer cables to manage, and no need to solder anything onto the PCB. Everything just clicks in a place. Now, speaking of supportive versions, let's get into the real world versions that Gen 2 handles with ease. For example, the XDMP101 adapter covers chips like the D70F3635 and D70F3382 and easily handles versions like 0824, 0825, 0827, 0510, 0521, 0551, 0560, 0572, 0633, 0641, 0650. 0711, and even 0582. So if you've ever seen that version pop up during diagnosis and wondered whether your tool could handle it, with Gen 2, the answer is yes. All right, if you're still with me, here's your friendly reminder. If this video is helping clear your doubts or guide your next purchase, please take a second, smash that like button right now, drop your opinion in the comments, and if you're learning something new, go ahead and subscribe to Bob G Motors. And hey, if you really love our content, maybe even consider a super thanks. It helps support our mission to bring you real-world tutorials that save time and money. Let's shoot for 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in the first 24 hours. If this video hits that, we'll cover the best VVDI2 tips and hidden tricks in our next one. Now, my personal view on this Gen 1 versus Gen 2 comparison. Honestly, Gen 1 had its time, it helped thousands of techs do solder free jobs on mid-generation Audi BCM2 systems. But in 2025, Gen 2 is the clear winner. Its expanded compatibility, full data read support, and cloning ability make it essential for anyone working on VAG platforms regularly. If you're serious about your diagnostic game, especially with the rise in BCM2 immobilizer jobs, Gen 2 is not just a tool. It's your upgrade path. But now I want to know your thoughts. Have you used either Gen 1 or Gen 2? Did you run into limitations or have a success story to share? Comment below. We learn more when we share experiences. And as promised, here's the answer to that intro question. Which adapter can clone BCM2 modules with the same hardware version? The answer is Gen 2. That's right. Only the Gen 2 Zorse Audi BCM2 adapter supports full cloning when the hardware version matches. And here's a bonus fact for sticking around till the end. Did you know? Most modern BCM2 failures are caused not by damage, but by corrupted flash memory due to power interruptions during diagnosis. Always use a stable power supply when programming. So if you learned something new today or simply enjoyed the depth of comparison, share this video with your fellow technicians, like it, and help Bob G Motors grow. Subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell icon so you don't miss what's next. And let's keep this amazing community growing. Let's hit that goal. 10,000 likes, 1,000 comments within 24 hours. Thank you for watching till the end. Your support means everything. Until next time, happy diagnosing and stay sharp out there.